January 3rd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Matthew chapter 3 from the New Testament. In those days, John the Baptist came into the wilderness of Judea, proclaiming, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. For he is the one about whom Isaiah the prophet had spoken. The voice of the one shouting in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord, makes his path straight. Now John wore clothing made from camel's hair, with a belt around his waist, and his diet consisted of locust and wild honey. Then people from Jerusalem, as well as all Judea, and all the region around Jordan, were going out to him, and he was baptizing them in the Jordan River as they confessed their sins. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You offspring of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Therefore, produce fruit that proves your repentance, and don't think you can say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you that God can raise up his children for Abraham from these stones. Even now the axe is laid at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but the one coming after me is more powerful than I am. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clean out his threshing floor, and he will gather his wheat into the storehouse. But the chaff he will burn up with inextinguishable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John to be baptized by him in the Jordan River. But John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and, and yet you come to me? So Jesus replied to him, Let it happen now, for it is right for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then John yielded to him. After Jesus was baptized, just as he was coming up out of the water, the heavens opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my one dear son. In him I take great delight. God, I know that there's only one way, only one way that we get to spend eternity with you. And that's through your son, Jesus Christ. Being baptized is an outward expression of the change that's already happened in our heart. In order to spend eternity with you, there's not some magic prayer that we have to say or some special words. We simply need to come to you, ask for forgiveness of our sins, <laughs> admit that we can't do it without you and ask you to come into our lives and change our hearts. That we want to live our life for you. God, I know that there's people listening to this right now that, that haven't taken that opportunity yet for, for whatever reason. But if now is the time, allow them a, a moment to just be with you, to just say what is in their heart. I remember my prayer to you. God, I'm not quite sure what all of this is and what all of this means, and, and I certainly don't feel worthy of anything. And I sure have messed up a lot. But I love you. That I do know. God, I just ask you to come into my heart and live there. Lead my life. Allow me to live for you and glorify you. 
See, it, it's not some magic words that you say. It's how you fill with your heart that will lead you to the kingdom of heaven. It's not from being baptized or doing good works that will get you into heaven or giving the most money or being nice to the most people. It's only because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. God, thank you for that. And God, I just ask that you bless everyone who is asking you to come into their hearts today. I ask that you just bless this opportunity and open up the doors so that people will come in and help them and, and they'll read your word and, and ask for help and guidance and understanding it and they'll seek out opportunities to learn more about you and how they can live an amazing life being in love with you. God, I love you. In your son's name we pray.